Maybe that's the only explanation why Drew Pearson had to wait so much longer than every wide receiver except one for his chance to be enshrined here in Canton, Ohio. Aren't we glad this is the night? After all, as a senior at Tulsa, he waited through 17 rounds then of the NFL draft in 1973 to hear his name called, but it never was. Dallas Cowboys did call, sign him as a free agent, and now finally we can say that the rest tonight is history. Eleven seasons later, he retired as the team's all-time leader in catches and in yards. Ten of those seasons, the Cowboys made the playoffs. Seven times, Pearson teams played in the NFC Championship game. Seven times. Three times the Super Bowl, winning Super Bowl XII. He always knew how to be in the right place at the right time. There was his key block on Tony Dorsett's 99-yard run. We remember that. His first playoff game as a rookie. Saw him hauling an 83-yard touchdown in the fourth quarter from Roger Stoddard to solve the game away to victory over the Rams. It was the second touchdown of the game. 1980, divisional round late in his career in Atlanta, down 10. Two fourth quarter touchdown reception, second in the final minute, again, to win the game. Oh yeah, and then in 1975, there was a Hail Mary. You might have heard of it, I thought you did. To present him the man who threw that one, and so many other of those passes to true Hall of Famer, Roger Starbuck. I can see even the first day, and there was something about him that was really special. He had great moves, just a very smart receiver and a very good physical receiver. Drew Pearson's journey to the Hall of Fame began as an undrafted free agent. After 442 players were taken in 1973, Dallas signed a quarterback turned wide receiver from Tulsa, who became a franchise leader. We were very, very lucky not to miss Drew Pearson, and uh, uh, getting him as, as, as a free agent was one of the best things that, uh, that has ever happened to the Cowboys as far as the personnel is concerned. Pearson's pension for big plays gave birth to a nickname, Mr. Clutch. He was a clutch receiver. He could position his body in a way that he could catch the ball, and he just had the great instincts that you need to have in the NFL. One clutch moment stands above the rest of it. The original Hail Mary pass in the 1975 NFC Divisional Playoffs. I basically told everyone to block and uh, Drew go deep or something like that. I <laughs> made sure that he went deep.
I had the biggest afro in NFL history. That's why the biggest one now be in the bus at the Hall of Fame. All right. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Roger Staubach. Thank you for what you have meant to my NFL career as my quarterback for eight seasons. But not only that, to my life for 50 plus years that I have known you. Thank you today for being my presenter into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. This confirms it. The wait is over! Over! How about that? The original number 88 presented for enshrinement in the Pro Football Hall of Fame by my Hall of Fame quarterback, Roger Staubach. Wow! <laughs> Roger. You know, they only give me a few minutes to make this exception speech, but it only took 32 seconds to catch the Hail Mary from my quarterback, Roger Starbuck. So this is no big deal. You know, there were times I remember I had to fight just to hold my head up. Those times when even my friends tried to make a fool of me. There were things that my heart would attack that they just couldn't see. Some said I was hopeless, a mind tangled in the night. But guess what? Strong hearts just keep going. And that's why I'm standing here tonight at the steps of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I see the light and the sun break through the storm, and I'm standing here as a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And I stand here tonight on the shoulders of the 354 Hall of Famers that helped make the NFL and pro football the great game that it is today. Thank you, Hall of Famers, for the opportunity. I am honored and proud to join the team as the 53rd member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And this right here makes it official, makes it official. So my commitment to this team as a Hall of Famer is to honor, is to respect, and never bring shame to this team and the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And to the Pro Football Hall of Fame Committee and the Voter Selection Committees, thank you for the honor. I have learned it's not about how long you wait or how long it takes to get here, but more about how you wait. And my wait was supported by my faith, and it was through God's grace that I created a path for me to immortality into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Now, there are many people I'd like to mention and thank that were part of my journey to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. From the Edison Missiles to the Edison Jets, to the South River High School Rams with Coach Joe Melissima, where my quarterback was the great Joe Theismann, to the University of Tulsa and the great coaches that I had there, to the Dallas Cowboys and the greatness of Hall of Famer, Coach Tom Landry. And trust me, there are many stories to be told along the way. It has been a journey, trust me, a tough, long journey on the road less traveled. Did I make mistakes? Yes, I did. I got cuts, I got scars, I got scrapes and bruises along the way, but I own all of them. I own all of them because they're all my mistakes. I did it my way and I did it the hard way. So tonight, don't just honor the man, tonight honor the mission as well. Don't judge me by reaching the heights of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Rather, judge me by the depths from which I've come. You watching at home see the names of these people that supported me on this journey to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. However, I want to focus my remaining time on the main reason I'm here, and that's the NFL, and in particular, the Dallas Cowboys, and then also, my lovely and beautiful family. To the NFL, thank you. Thank you for 
being the great game that you are and providing opportunities through this game for people like myself to succeed. Thank you, thank you. I also want to say thank you first to the late, great Clint Richardson, the original owner of the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you for your ownership and drive to set the blueprint of what the Dallas Cowboys are still are today. We would not be here without you. Thank you, Clint Murchison. Also, thank you to Hall of Famer, Tex Tram, for your creative ways and marketing genius. I learned so much from you. Thank you, Hall of Famer, Gil Grant, for your innovative ways and out-of-the-box thinking that led you to Tulsa University, giving a skinny leg kid 170 pounds an opportunity. Let me show you. I learned so much from you, Gil Grant, and if I had more time, I would come over and give you a kiss right now. And of course, thank you, Hall of Famer, Coach Tom Landry. Thank you, Coach, for your innovative system of equal opportunity, as long as you brought character, as long as you brought intelligence, as long as you brought passion and talent to the team. And you also taught me, Coach, that respect is earned and not given. For these four men, I learned a lot about football and the business of football. But I've also learned about business knowledge and acumen that has carried me through my years in my life after football. And thank you, Hall of Famer Jerry Jones, for continuing to carry the torch of the Dallas Cowboys on your journey to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. No one could have done it better. Thank you, Mike Ditka, my first receiver coach in the NFL. Mike was an all-pro tight end, which means he taught me nothing about running pass routes as a wide receiver. But, Mike, you taught me not how not to just be a pro, but be a professional. And you did that by the passion you showed and that you brought to the Dallas Cowboys. Also, I want to thank Otto Stowe, a wide receiver that I played behind. I learned so much from you, Otto, and I would not be here today without you. Thank you. My fellow receivers in particular, Hall of Famer Bob Hayes, Billy Joe Dupree, Nolan Richards, Tony Drill Hill, Butch Johnson, Doug Donnelly, Doug Cosby, Chief Fugit, and many, many more. And also, my quarterback after Roger left me in retirement. <laughs> My quarterback, Danny White, thank you for taking the reins and helping me get to this Pro Football Hall of Fame. Thank you, guys. We pushed each other to be the best, which helped lead us to the team success that we earn and enjoy. Thank you, Hall of Famer, Michael Irvin, number 88. Right on. Thank you, Michael Irvin, for carrying on the legacy of the 88 Club. Right on, Michael Irvin. My final expressions of gratitude and thank you go to my family, my deceased members, my parents, Sam and Minnie Pearson. I love you both, miss you so much. Thank you for setting the necessary guidelines and discipline for me to follow. The blessing is you both got a chance to see me play in the NFL before God called you home. My step parents, Lee Garrison and Walter Skank, all gone too soon. My deceased sisters and brothers, Denise Linda Pearson Stewart, gone too soon. Debbie Marlette Pearson, gone too soon. My deceased brother, Sam McPherson Jr., gone too soon. Andre Valentino Pearson, gone too soon. Carrie Mark Luth Pearson, I'm sorry, Chris and Craig, your dad was gone too soon. I miss all of you so dearly, dearly, but your spirit, I know, is with me. I know that because I feel it. I feel it. And to my living sister, Sandra Hill, Pearson Hill, you are the best. You are the matriarch of the family. We are blessed to have you. You continue to lead us through family tragedy, including losing your own husband, the great Phil Hill. I love you, sis. I love you, sis. Now my legacy, my immediate family, my God-fearing college-educated children, who I am so proud of. My oldest daughter, Tori Nicole, 
Guardian, Kojo. There is nothing, Tori, you can't do. And I think you tried it all. Okay? <laughs> thank you for being who you are. I'm so proud of you. And thank you all. My daughter, Brittany, God bless you. You get it, you get it, honest, just like your dad, right? And my son, Brian Jarrett, no, he didn't play football. He's too smart for that, okay? <laughs> he went to Loyola Marymount University and now is a graphic designer. So I just want to say thank you for this opportunity. There's so many special people in my life, but my time has run out. I don't have a Hail Mary in my back pocket, so I got to wrap this up. I just want to thank you all for the moment, for the opportunity to be part of this. You know, in life, in this situation, this moment is all there is. This moment has led me to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and it's a moment of a lifetime for a lifetime. Hail Mary blessings to you all. Hail Mary blessings all around. And let my people say, hi, hi.